aid workers in the Central African Republic are warning that the country may be slipping back into conflict. Tens of thousands of people have fled violence in the countryside over the past six months. More than half of the nation's population relies on humanitarian aid, but the UN says relief efforts are dangerously underfunded. Zach Badov traveled to the country's north and has our report. Resurging violence in the Central African Republic has left some villages emptied and destroyed. A hundred thousand people have fled their homes since September. In the north, predominantly Christian anti-Balaka rebels used the town of Bambara as a base. But after they stole some cows from nearby nomadic people, the mostly Muslim ex seleka militia came for revenge, killing about 25 people and burning more than 600 houses. <laughs> My father died of old age, but when my big brother was killed, I was very shocked by that. I will always remember what happened here. That's the trace of the bullet. They shot at me too. Mm. The violence recalls the fighting and communal clashes that plunged the country into chaos nearly four years ago. Aid workers say the renewed violence has been a major setback. They don't have food, they don't have seeds, they don't have mats to sleep on, they don't have potable water. So everything was destroyed in these events, so they are starting from zero. Meanwhile, at the camp for displaced persons in nearby Mdim, a group of herders have had to flee twice due to fighting over the past few months. The future for us is truly in the hands of God, because the population of the nearby village are the ones protecting us. We don't have any say in the matter. The village chief says the anti-Balaka attacked and stole about 150 of their cows. They moved and started growing maize and manioc, but they were attacked again. One fifth of the country's population is currently displaced. Doctors Without Borders says civilians are being attacked at levels not seen in years. MSF runs a clinic in Pawa in the northwest of the country, but says it continues to struggle to access remote areas in need. Central Africa is one of the poorest countries in the world and uh, needs to be supported. But the people are focusing on the conflict, but it takes time for people to solve it. Despite the growing need, the UN says just 10% of the required humanitarian funding for the year has been received. UN humanitarian coordinator Najat Rochdi says this could have a disastrous effect. Otherwise, you know, we are just feeding the ground of armed groups who would come back to the population and just tell them, look, the international community, they don't care. The UN, they don't care. Look, you don't, you don't even have, you don't even have food on your table. You don't even have schools for, for your kids. So we need also, you know, just to, just to fight against that. The World Food Program has been forced to cut its food aid by almost half, from 700,000 people last year to 400,000 people this year. Zach Badorf for VOA News, Pawa, Central African Republic.